Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range now, and we're going to do a range test with the Bullet Safe VP3 Ballistic Vest. I already did a range test. I shot 9mm, 9mm hollow point, 45 ACP, and 10mm, and none of those rounds penetrated, which led me to believe this is a pretty solid vest. And I shot them in the front of the vest right here, and I was pretty impressed with the results but now we have the back of the vest which is the exact same panel and it's a very strong panel it is a level three rated for level three but one of the things that they they claim is that this will stop up to a 44 magnum so we're going to check that out today and when i did my original range test a lot of guys said hey shoot that 7.5 fk round and it's not rated for that but we're going to check that out as well and see how well this VP3 works with those rounds. But it is a pretty comfortable vest. You know, when I when I put it on, it, it, it feels really nice. And it's not that heavy at all. Of course, I have the front plate out. It's not a plate. It's, it's body armor, you know. But the back one is what we're going to use. So let's go ahead and set this up. We'll step back about seven yards. Fire away. I'm very much interested to check out that. 44 magnum and the uh, 7.5 so let's do it let's start with the desert eagle and 44 magnum i've got american eagle 240 grain jacketed hollow points and see how this does at this distance they claim it can stop a 44 magnum so here we go I heard the sound of the bullet hitting that target, so we'll take a closer look and see if in fact it penetrated. All right, so here's what happened. I've got my two shots right there, and if we take a look, we'll see that it blew right out of this vest, both shots. That's uh, pretty conclusive. So. This will not stop a 44 Magnum. I, I'm not sure why they rated it for it, but it definitely went through. I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen with the 7.5 FK, but we're going to try it anyways. Maybe it'll surprise us. But when I shot those other rounds, including 10 millimeter, which certainly put an indentation, it did not penetrate the 44 Magnum definitely does 240 grain jacketed hollow point blasted right through that and we heard the steel target we, we heard that sound it just went right through it and i did put these pretty much on top of each other let me load up the fk and we'll see what happens there all right here we have the fk burno the round is a Bottleneck round, 95 grain hollow point, travels at 2,000 feet per second. And we're going to shoot that bullet say VP3. We're going to fire a little bit lower to see how it does. And I think I heard that steel target behind it, but we're going to take a closer look. Here's what we're looking at. I shot the first two right there with 44 Magnum and the FK Burno with the 7.5 FK round right there. And we turned the vest around and we could see it went right through it. <laughs> and it really went through it. Both of these rounds went through the ballistic vest rather convincingly. So. The vest is great for your common handgun rounds, even up to 10 millimeter. I was really impressed. The 10 millimeter put the greatest amount of, shall I say, dent through it. It did not penetrate though. The 45 was tough. The nine millimeter, no problem. That was, that was easy. But the 44 Magnum that Bullet Safe says it will stop. It will not stop a 44 Magnum, at least through a Desert Eagle. And I can't imagine anything else but there are your results right there 
I still like the vest. I still, I, you know, most people are not going to be carrying around a 44 Magnum or a FK Berno with 7.5, uh, traveling at 2,000 feet per second, by the way. But those uh, results are pretty convincing to me. It's still a nice vest for your common handgun rounds, which is most likely what are going to be used on the street and when you would need the greatest amount of protection. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.